What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Jane Michelle, and you are now tapped into Flavor Fridays. Get into it. Black Pendo, kill the beat. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Jane Michelle. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I am very excited about today's episode. It's my first official episode of A Dose of Flavor. So I appreciate everyone out there who is listening and who has tapped in with me today. Um, As I am going to do going forward with every episode of A Dose of Flavor, we are going to start with a quote. So today's quote is, Every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars and change the world. Harriet Tubman. Woo! Now, you know, I love Harriet Tubman. Um, I think it's important that we always try to grow mentally and become wiser, better, and stronger So I definitely always want to start with a good quote, um, something from someone um, throughout history who has really changed the world or who has influenced um, people to be stronger, to be um, resilient in in hard times, or um, people that have inspired are uplifted and literally changed people's lives. So I think that's always important that we show love and um, that we try to, again, grow mentally every day. So with that being said, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of ratchet, okay? You got to throw in a little bit of ratchet. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of fun, okay? (laughs) You got to learn to laugh, you got to learn to laugh. So with that being said, I do want to kind of get into uh, Love & Hip Hop. Love & Hip Hop Atlanta is back. And I'm excited because all my shows are off TV and I literally have nothing else to watch. And But it, even if my shows were on, I love Love & Hip Hop. I've been watching Love & Hip Hop for a really long time. So, you know, shout out all the people on Love & Hip Hop who entertain all of us out here in the world and put your lives on blast um for all of us to see but with this uh latest episode of love and hip-hop i wanted to touch on safari and erica minna i love erica minna with all her feistiness i always have sometimes she's done some things and you like okay girlfriend like what the fuck but at the same time like i really am a fan of hers i like how like raw and real and authentic she seems to be um, about uh, just herself, her lifestyle, what she likes, whatever. So that's why when her and Safari got together, it was like, okay, that actually might work because they both are like obsessed with or seem somewhat obsessed with looking good and looking great. And, you know, they're into their bodies and they're into their appearance. And they both seem like, you know, money makers, go getters. And then at the same time, like you both want them to find love, right? Because it's like Erica Mena being like, on love and hip-hop forever like getting fucking dogged and then everybody knows like safari looked like a fucking clown when Nicki minaj left him and you know meek mills was on his head and wild and out did him so dirty so you know you wanted these two to find love at at least i did it's like I, i love rooting for the underdog but i just feel like okay it was good but if you caught the first episode of love and hip hop this week you know that shit is not all good in the hood so i'm gonna play a clip real quick for y'all to let me sleep in and you take care of me you don't even think let me just fold these clothes that you know she washed for me i know they're my underwear like you just you're just so oblivious and so in your own world and you forget that you're supposed to be my other half we're supposed to be a team yeah well we're definitely not a team it doesn't feel like it I wouldn't take our wedding pictures and put it in the garbage. For what? What the hell were you thinking when you did that? You just tweeted to the world that marrying me was your biggest mistake and you worried about me dumping wedding pictures that I don't Yeah, because that's personal. That's real yeah, life. and so is that's something real that's... life. You tweeted something. Twitter's not real life. Like, are you even remorseful for the public humiliation? For, like, how you're making me feel? What are you putting me through? No matter what's in jeopardy for my husband, there's still no. 
All right, y'all. So, woo, that was a lot, right? Okay, so where 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 where, where to begin with that? Because it's like, okay, nigga, what the fuck? Okay. So, real quick, I just want to touch on social media and relationships. Like, I definitely have been one in the past to post my relationship and, you know, to get mad at my boo and, you know, be like, niggas ain't shit and all that shit and send subliminal shots on Facebook. But now it's kind of like it's corny, right? You know, like, nobody fucking cares. Like, everybody's laughing at you. Like Erica said in the clip, like, the public humiliation is like, even for yourself, it's like you be thinking you're getting on there to like blast this dude, but really in reality, like you look crazy. So it's like social media and relationships. Like, do you guys post your relationships on social media? Do you guys think it's okay to kind of get mad and vent and use your social media platforms somewhat as a personal diary you know because a lot of the times you do put shit up on social media in the moment because you're mad and then you want to go back and delete it some people you know are like fuck that I'm not going to go delete it I said what I said but then some of us are like oh my god I cannot believe you know I slipped into a moment of of you know whatever weakness or whatever and put all my fucking business on Facebook or on Instagram, or on Twitter, or whatever. So, um, do you guys believe that social media plays a huge role in relationships? Like, you know, when you get married, you put it on social media. When you get engaged, you put it on there. When you break up, you, you know, change your status to single. Like, I definitely think that social media plays a big role in relationships, but now being a grown woman and learning from my mistakes it's like I don't go to if you go to check my Facebook you are going to know that me and my man love each other and we are riding to the death and we are prospering and living a fabulous fucking life you're not gonna go and see me dogging him and talking about him and we we argue we trip we fight but I respect my man and I would never give anyone the satisfaction of being able to um, have an opinion about my relationship and something that means so much to me. So keep your fucking business off social media, people. But uh, another thing I want to touch on is, you know, Erica mentioned um, in this clip that he doesn't help her with the laundry and he doesn't help her with the clothes and folding the clothes are allowing her to sleep in at times and taking the baby and men like y'all do be lacking. Y'all need to understand being a parent is a full time job for both parents. OK, if you guys want to be the kings and the leaders of your household, you need to absolutely contribute in that way. And it's like. You know, for I know that there are some women that be lacking, but we ain't fucking talking about them right now. We talking about you men. And the fact that sometimes y'all do be lacking. Like, it's good. Take the baby. Let me sleep in. Let me get a fucking shower. Let me wash my hair. Let me sit up and watch Love and Hip Hop without being interrupted. Take the kids for a second. Go to the park. Take a walk. Do some laundry. Do some fucking dishes. Because, you know, there's women that are out there working full-time jobs. They're coming home and they're being hands-on parents, going to football games and after-school programs and doctor's appointments and shit like that. And then they're also, you know, cooking and cleaning. And then you want them to be a porn star in the fucking bedroom. That's that's all day long. That's nonstop because, Lord forbid, a bitch get a day off. And she ain't shit. But, man, come on. Step it up for y'all. Come, come, come on. Because postpartum is real. That's what, that's what I want to talk about. You know, on another episode, I'm going to play the clip for y'all. On another episode, Erica Mena revealed uh, the reason why Safari doesn't want to have another baby. And it's like, you know, I, I'm, I'm, wait, let me just go ahead and play the clip for y'all. And then I'm, y'all, I'll let y'all be the judge. Okay, Erica, what's going on up there with you and Safari? Somebody want to have some more babies and somebody don't? 
She said, how can I look at this baby and not want another one? But tell him why you don't want another one. Because I got too big for, during my pregnancy. No, I didn't tell say him. that. Tell Yeah, see, Bad first of all, I never you. said that. That's not right, Safari. Thank see, you. Oh, my... Yo, she's making this up. Yo, you woman almost oh. dies giving birth. You mentioned my stomach afterwards. Oh, wow. I didn't say she got too big. I yeah, just she said. Did. You said you got too big. I got too big. I don't want to be fat again. That's what you said. So, so. Wow. Right. OK, so first of all, man, like you guys have no idea what it even takes to produce a whole human out of our fucking vaginas like it is real okay your thing stretches 10 centimeters and you gotta push a whole baby out like but before that even gets there you need to carry that baby and yeah you are you're eating for two people so you get big and we don't like it okay we don't. We don't like that part of it. I mean, some some women don't mind. I'm, I'm speaking for me, shit. We don't like that. And, you know, losing that weight after is so hard because we do want to, after we go through that process of, you know, sacrificing our bodies ultimately to bring you a, a gift of life into this world, you know, we ultimately, we want to get back to, you know, a healthy place physically and get back to uh, looking and feeling like we did before that somewhat, you know, because a lot of women lose themselves in that process of just becoming a mom. Like it's a whole transformation mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, like it's not an easy thing. So how insensitive is it to talk about a woman's weight when she's sacrificing her whole body, her her life? Like like in the clip, um, like um, young Jock's wife. I can't even remember her name. My bad, girl. <laughs> but anyways, like young Jock's wife said, like you, um, some women die giving birth. Like it is a whole ass sacrifice. And you sitting here complaining about my weight and my stomach. All that money y'all got anyway, you know, it ain't nothing but a little, little nip and a little tuck. Or, you know, it ain't nothing but y'all got, they got the type of money you can hire a, a nutritionist. You can hire a personal chef. You can hire a personal trainer and you can live right in, have a natural like snap back body and work for it. You know, Safari is on there with coconut, coconut oil and shit, doing abs, sit ups and all this other stuff. Like, dude, like you did it once before you could do it again, like. But don't make a woman feel undesired and ugly and fat and nasty all because she sacrificed herself literally to give you the gift of life and bring you a child. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. Erica Mena is stronger than me. Um, so I want to go back, kind of double back real quick to the first video where uh safari had said something about social media like not being real or some shit like that um let me let me play real quick and you worried about me dumping wedding pictures that i don't yeah because that's personal that's real yeah, life and so is that's something real that's life that's... you tweeted something so it's not real life okay so a lot of people think like social media is not real. Like Safari is not the only person I've ever heard say something like, oh, Facebook's not real. Oh, Twitter's not real. Oh, Instagram is not real. Like social media is very real. Like cyberbullying is very real. People have literally like killed themselves because of bullying and things that have happened on social media because it is affecting them in re in real time like for real so um let let's not let's be responsible with social media people out there and understand that it is a real world i get the what you're saying i get the perception like it's a it's just a, a network and people can be fake on there and they can put what you want like i said earlier today like if you go to my social media you're never going to find out like my real life details of like what's really going on in my life because i don't put that out there for the world so 
I get what he's saying when he's like, oh, it's not real. And a lot of people do shit for clout, but understand that it is very real. People's lives have been saved on social media. People's careers have been changed due to social media. So it's not like people are just, um, it's, it's not like Facebook and Twitter is this like cyber world that has no effect on real time and real people. Like, I, I think that people need to understand that we all need to use our social media platforms responsibly because it is real. I know if my man ever got his black ass on social media talking about proposing to me was his biggest mistake. Like, he would, what? Y'all, I don't even know. I don't, I don't, I don't I don't even know what I do. I don't even know what I do. Erica really played it cool. But, yeah, that's fucking hu humiliating and that's embarrassing. But we're going to go ahead and exit off of that and tap into the product of the week. I'm going to bring you guys a product of the week. Some of the products, most of the products, I would like to be local here in Wichita, Kansas, because I want to put my city on 316 up. So I definitely, if you're out there and you're listening and you have any product of any kind or you offer a service, hit me up. I would love to experience whatever it is that you sell or whatever it is that you do and give you a review on my platform and shout it out. But I am going to keep it all the way real. So, you know, don't expect me to lie for you if I don't like your shit I'm gonna say I don't like it and you know I'm gonna do it in a nice way but I'm not gonna lie and say I like something that I don't but for today's product I absolutely love it shout out to Carissa Ruth so Carissa has definitely been on the show um, flavor you guys check out the full interview on Facebook on flavor by Jay Nichelle that's F L A V O R by B Y J dot N I C H E L L E on Facebook. The full interview with Carissa. I just love her so much. I think she's a dope spirit. But she has a amazing um, shea butter and soul scrub product or um, scrub body scrub. So yeah, my girl Carissa Ruth tap in with her you can order she does ship for anybody not in wichita that is looking to try her product i highly recommend it so she, my favorite product for for her line is the uh, lemon and rose lemon and rose uh, soul scrub it's like the body scrub that exfoliates your skin and it just hydrates it is so amazing it is so it makes my skin so soft and so silky when I get out the shower, like I'm the type of person I have to put on like lotion and oil, like head to toe, because I need that skin to feel nice and soft and silky and very moisturized. So but like as soon as I get out the shower, I just get super like dry, like my skin gets super dry. But I, I promise you with the lemon and rose soul scrub, like I damn near don't need any lotion like and I've never used a product that left my body feeling clean and hydrated the way that um, Heaven Sent Shea's products do. do. Um, I would also recommend she has the um, whipped shea butter. Oh, my God. It smells good. It feels good. I have thick thighs, y'all. And even though I'm working hard and, and working on building my body, my thighs are, are big, okay? And... When I wear shorts, little little tiny shorts in the summertime, my thighs rub together on the inside. I know I ain't the only one, ladies, don't lie. The inside of my thighs rub together. And, you know, I've got, it's gotten irritated. Like I've gotten a little like rash or whatever, like in between my thighs from just walking in these shorts and the thighs are just clapping all day together. Just clap, 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 clap. Like, yes, clap, clap, clap. <laughs> well anyways I get the I get freaking like they get irritated but thank God for this product um, from Carissa because it I can put it like right between my thighs rub the whipped shea butter right between my thighs 
and it keeps my skin like just gliding off of itself like all day I don't get any type of like rashes it's not irritated like I me and my thighs can just go out honey and live our best lives okay <laughs> yeah that's not the one I wanted to press I wanted to clap where's the damn hand clap okay fuck it y'all I'm still learning these keys but anyways I wanted to um, definitely shout out Carissa Ruth. You guys make sure that you tap in with her. You can get her product at www.heavensentshay.com. H-E-A-V-E-N-S-E-N-T-S-H-E-A.com. You guys make sure you tap in and tell them that flavor sent you. Okay. All right, you guys also can tap in with Carissa on Facebook at Heaven Sent Shay or just tap in with her. Um, she's really good on her personal page with getting in touch with you. And she does offer other services like pole classes and pole fitness and things like that. So tap in with her. But you guys, that is today's show. Please follow your girl on IG at 316 Flavor. You can find me on Facebook and YouTube at as well, um, Flavor by Jay Nichelle. I'll be back next Friday for um for another dose of flavor for y'all. What's up, everybody? It's your girl Jay Nichelle, and you are now tapped into Flavor Friday. Get into it. Kill the beat.